Hi guys, it's Matty Ace, and in today's video we'll be talking about a couple of things that I've started to make standard with my gameplay. One of those things is to put a trophy system, that's what it looks like when you pick it up, on a car before I start driving around, trying to roadkill and uh, shoot out people while seat switching. Normally I get up on the hood of the car and put it on the rooftop, but this time I didn't. And, uh, well, the reason why I put it on the rooftop, or I prefer to do so, is because when I seat switch, I don't want the trophy system to block my view. And it can do in some angles when you have it on the hood. I don't think that functionality-wise, when it comes to it uh, securing you from incoming explosives, it doesn't it makes any difference. And remember, the trophy system only blocks three explosives. After that, you're out, and you might want to leave that car, or at least find another trophy system. It's very possible that there is a benefit to having it at the front of the car like this because it might not be as visible and because of that they'll try to blow you up the way they normally counter cars. You can see the trophy system view. So yeah, the two main counters towards vehicles is uh, the RPG and the C4, which of course becomes completely useless when you have the trophy system on top of the car. Now, it can only help me with one more, but not everybody tries to counter cars with explosives. Some people just try to shoot you out or just shoot the car. Here is a sniper. Next up here you will see that uh, Matti never snipes and you will see what happens if you use a car when you don't have a trophy system on it. <laughs> Next up here I'm going to talk a little bit about loot and uh, here I'm in uh, one of those uh, problematic situations when I, I know there's an enemy in the house in the front of me here but I really need the plates of the guy that I killed but uh, unfortunately this guy was paying too much attention and uh, it was a mistake to go for him but Sometimes crazy things happen in Warzone, and you'll see what happens afterwards. It's just camping it. Ah, he saw it. And of course, when you spawn back in, one of the important things here is that you use the parachute properly. You need to calculate for where to drop and to pull the parachute at the right moment, uh, not to pull it too early 
so that you reveal where you are, but not too late so that you die, of course, because that would be really embarrassing. What the fucking press that key? Are you serious? Yep, it's the game's fault. But then again, you didn't see that anyway, so it doesn't matter, right? Armor Mati. Yeah. I did press the fucking space. Oh, I, I'm not meant to win this round. I'm just not meant to win this round. So yeah, as you can tell, I downed him, but I didn't finish him. And uh, this guy has self-revive, which in many cases can be a massive mistake. But he has a lot of valuable loot. So if he didn't self-revive and run out of the gas, I wouldn't be able to get that satchel, uh, all that ammo, maybe another weapon, and most importantly, eight armor plates. Now because of that, holy shit. Much. Oh, he shot that. Ah, it was too many. It was too many. <laughs> ah, it was too not. Yeah, these loot crates are very, very contested. People go for them almost always in uh, stimulus, uh, especially after they have died and uh, they can't get back to their loot because it's normally camped. Me, I've died several times to trying to get to my uh, loot crate, and here is a situation where one other guy didn't really pay attention, and uh, even though he had a lot of good gear, he lost it only for the sake of getting even more. Now, to be fair though, many times in this game, the perks are even more important than the weapons. Especially if you have died and you were able to get back to those weapons that you had before you died. And in that scenario, it's the perks that's the only benefit, which is not a small thing, by the way. Now, sometimes this has happened to me when I know I clicked on my weapon, but I didn't get it. No! What the fuck? Why did I get it? I clicked on it! I fucking clicked it and I didn't get it. What? This game is so fucked up. I clicked on the MP5 and I didn't get it. Yeah, I'm not hiding my frustration in that moment. Now, next thing I want to show you here is Dead Silence. And uh, you've seen it before on my channel. It's probably my favorite field upgrade. Now, one of the best benefits actually when it comes to the Dead Silence is that if you get a kill while it's activated, the timer resets and you get another, I think it is 15 seconds of being deadly and silent. Now in some cases this is really good because you can surprise yet another opponent, but in many cases you have to run away because you're taking so much damage and you need to play it up. 
And in this case it was kind of a little bit of both. But there's no denying that it's because of Dead Silence that I was able to get both of those kills. So yeah, I will show you one more kill here in the Superstore from the same round using Dead Silence. So uh, big thanks for watching guys and see you next time.